Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nick. And I'm Jacob. And together we are the Shonen, Shonen Bros. Bros. And today we're going to be reacting to My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 3. That's right, guys. And, dude, Season 6 has been fire so far. You guys, I know you've been hyping it up a little bit. Uh, those of you who have read the manga. But, dude, we got a nice, I will say, probably my favorite part of last episode would probably have to be the uh, Kaminari focus because I love the kind of singular focus on single characters that we don't really get a whole lot uh, you know like we had with Kirishima and I believe season four um, but now we have that kind of similar ish kind of thing with uh, Kaminari and you know obviously his power is kind of a, a quirk that uh, affects a lot of people at once so he's very good uh, for taking out a large group of people. So obviously they have him at the front uh, for that reason. And uh, they actually stumbled across another guy who has um, electricity and electricity quirk. So, it was, you know, it was very nice to have Kaminari there. Thank goodness they had him. Because when this guy uh, used his quirk in order to try to, like take out all the heroes at once. Kaminari just used himself as a lightning rod to suck up all the electricity, and, uh, I, dude, I thought that was really cool. But, uh, you know, but I guess the main focus of last episode was mostly about Mirko, uh, because, she, dude, she went off. Because <laughs> we got one of the Nomus that, uh, crushed her arm, but she just kept going and kept persevering until she... Uh, destroyed a couple of the Nomus, and obviously she's chasing the Doctor now. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in this episode. Yeah, with Mirko, you know, just her endurance, first of all, but also just her uh, perseverance with, like, just the Nomus. Like, she literally got her arm twisted up <laughs> like a noodle. It still came in hot. Still, like, came in like, I'm about to, I'm about to mess you guys up. Mm -hmm. And dude, she literally Rey Mysterioed that high end Nomu. Like, dude, <laughs> he snapped his head off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she snapped his head off. Like, bruh, <laughs> that that was crazy. The the way she did that, I thought I was raw. But also, you know, um, I've always really appreciated this about my hero, and it's the OSTs of of it. You know, obviously, it it incorporates a lot of like orchestral rock. And I don't know why, bro, just orchestra and rock just goes together so well. And just with Kaminari's moment, when he's like, like, doing like, yeah, I'm that guy right now. I'm finally standing up and I'm actually doing something for once. With that yeah. awesome OST in the background with the orchestra building up with like the rock element and the drums obviously always going, going hard. So it's just like, dang, that was a really dope moment. Oh yeah, I, I really love the, the music, like you said, dude. My Hero always has banger tracks, you know? And, and it's just accompanied with the visuals, too, because, as, you know, they've had a little while to work on Season 6, so the animation, I have noticed, it looks like it has improved a little bit, uh, so I'm always happy about that, but again, like you said, the OST's soundtrack, always phenomenal with My Hero, and uh, I, I just love everything about it. The story is really good so far, I, I don't really know where this is headed because we got two teams one in the hospital uh endeavors team and one in the paranormal liberation fronts like headquarters their base and that would be ed shots team and then we kind of got deku bakugo todoroki oh you know all them they're kind of just in the back uh evacuating people so we don't really have them up front right now i assume probably in the future we're gonna see more of them but uh yeah, it's always nice to have that kind of changed where, you know, we're, at, we're looking at different characters. You know, we're looking at a different, not like a B story, but it's a different right. story. You know what I mean? From a different perspective. So, you know, I always like that. And uh, I'm wondering if it's going to be this, that kind of episode again, or are we going to get more of Deku, Bakugo? Because we really haven't had a whole lot of them. So I'm just really interested to see what's going to happen. I, I do want to see more of... Um... More of Deku and Bakugo Todoroki, though. Yeah. Even Tenya. I love Tenya. If you guys don't know, Tenya is, like, one of my favorite characters in My Hero. So underrated. But, um... But, yeah. I just... I was so surprised, considering... Yeah, maybe not Tenya Ida as much. But 
Todoroki, Bakugo, and Deku are all evacuating, like, they should be on your front line. <laughs> like, those are, those are your strongest, you know, heroes in, in, in 1A, right? And I just was, like, a little surprised. I'm like, okay, maybe they're... Do in my mind, I'm like, okay, maybe they're saving them for later. Like, maybe they need them there just in case, you know, they're, they're attacking the civilians. And they have strong heroes to be able to protect them. Yeah, so. but to be fair, they are kids. So, <laughs> you're I mean, not yeah, just so going to throw them in the front lines. I mean, so is Kaminari, but look at him, man. This well, man's got all the jolt electricity going yeah. at him. Well, they only did that because he has a quirk that affects a lot of people at once so it's very useful like i i can right. i can kind of understand like maybe maybe even todoroki because we know he has that like giant ice um attack that he can do so right i guess i guess they could have done it for a couple more of them and i guess bakugo's you know howitzer or whatever which is a big attack and deku i guess can just like let loose <laughs> so you know what yeah. i can you know it's kind of weird but you know we live with it whatever yeah, but either way, I've been enjoying season six so far, and the hype is real. And um, I can't—I just can't wait for Kaminari just to have his moment and just to show them who's boss and just show 1A that he's actually useful, that he's not a meme character like Manetta, that he's actually useful, and that he's about to prove himself right here, right now. And I can't wait to see that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What we saw in the last episode from him was very promising, and uh, can't wait to see what we get out of him this episode. And as always, guys, if you guys have enjoyed our My Hero Academia CC6 reactions, and make sure you guys like and subscribe, click on the notification bell to be notified when we release new content. Also, make sure you guys click the link down in the description down below of all of our social media links to give them a follow, and as well as just comment down below what are the animes, openings, or endings, or the anime content you guys would like us to react to next. Thanks for all the support. We really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And now let's get into... My Hero Academia Season 6 Episode 3 Right. Right. Yeah, Team Endeavor and Team Edshot. And there are, <laughs> there are a ton of heroes. Oh yeah, I forgot about this, bro. Yeah. They were like trying to figure out if he was the real one. But it turns out to be a a, a twice double. And uh, the one that Mirko found, we're, we're assuming that he's the real one, but she, it's not like she actually attacked him, so we don't officially know, but it's kind of all but confirmed. Right, they're going into the base. Oh, yeah. And the, and Kaminari just, just Prince Zuko, this man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, look at Kaminari, bro. He's just flexing on this man. Look at him being useful, dude. Dude, I don't know if you notice. I just realized that All for One is doing did the same thing that the first user for One for All did. Ooh, yeah. Like the original, like go like that. I just noticed that. Gunga Villa. Oh, there are a lot of them as well, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's like, what? <laughs> this man is shooketh. Oof. Dude, even look at Cementos' power, look what he can do, too. <laughs> right. Nope. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Collapsed. Yeah, all these guys are done. Yep. Yeah. See ya. Nice. Put him to sleep. Toodaloo. Ah, uh, uh, Kamui Woods. Yes, sir. A, a goat. Oh. Oh, right, from 1B. Right. Oh. Oh, oh. right. <laughs> Mushroom girl. Yeah, they're dead. You know, she legit can just kill all of them if she wanted to. 
Yeah, just fill their lungs with mushrooms. Right. Oh. Oh, what? Hawks betrayed twice. Oh, no. Ooh. One's justice. Oh, I played the game. I like that. I remember when uh, My Hero came out with a game that was called One's Justice? Oh man, twice just must feel so betrayed. I know. Yeah, I mean, right now, yeah. twice is the most dangerous one to the heroes. Bro. What's he gonna do? Oh, he uh, blames himself. Dude, you gotta feel bad for Twice, though. Come on. Yeah, for give, real. Give this guy a break. I love Twice, dude. He's one of my favorite characters. I know. Oh man, it seems like they really <sighs> built a relationship over time. See, even even Hawks likes him. He's just, you know. Right. Twice is not a bad guy. He's just with the wrong people. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh no. Bruh. Oh, what the heck? They're all crying. see Sad Man's Parade. Nice to see Fat Gum again. Yes, sir, in Sun Eater. Yeah, they have the whole layout because of Hawks. Oh, let's go. Dude, his his quirk is so cool. I love Sun Eater too. His his powers just seem so cool. Ah, uh, dude, they're not getting past Fat Gum. I'm sorry. Nope. Oh, he's going into the dark. Oh, it's over. Yep, Dark Shadow. Ragnarok. Yeah, they about to get clapped. <laughs> right. Redestro is pretty powerful, too. Oh! Oh! oh. His, right. He, his leg snapped. Dang. He got body, bro. <laughs> Oh. Right, Shigaraki needs to be the one to command him. Oh, yeah, right, right. So I guess without orders from Shigaraki, he's just a statue. Yeah, he's just riding <laughs> <laughs> in Fekum. Dude. Oh man, what's Hawks gonna do? He doesn't want to kill twice. No. Oh wow! But, but he, he, oh my gosh! He did make a lot of them though. <laughs> I'm loving these mid cards, dude. <laughs> yeah. Right, because they're they're very fragile. Right, he's killing all the doubles as fast as he can. Oh, right, and I guess you could tell who the real twice is because his uh his head wrapping is cut up. Right. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the perfect match to Twice. Hawks is just so mm. fast, he's killing them faster than Twice can make them. Right. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's the second time. First time was with Overhaul. Right. 
俺を包んでくれないだろうな Twice as oh, oh, yeah, Dobby. Yeah, yeah. Dobby. Oh, right. Dobby was kind of suspicious of him the whole time. <laughs> hey, yo. Okay, right. I mean, Hawks is very fast, so. Oh, no. He lost a lot of his feathers? Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Right. I don't think Hawks can win at this stage. Right. Right. He might just want to cut his losses and right. try to escape right now. Is he actually gonna die? No shot twice is gonna die, dude. Oh, come on, man. Don't do this to me. Hawks, or I mean, twice is one of my favorite characters. No! <sighs> wow. Man, why they have to do my man like that, man? Twice is one of my favorite characters. Did he really just die? <sighs> Dude. Um, I hope. Oh, I don't know how. I don't know how he could have survived that, though. I mean. He said he was dying himself. We saw a huge pool of blood. Hawks was behind him, ready to stab him. I assume that's what happened. And, you know, his double was talking to Toga, saying goodbyes, everything like that. And, <sighs> oh, man. This is why Twice was one of my favorite characters. Just the character development, especially for him, dude. Especially in last season, the end of last season, the My Villain Academia arc. Up to now, it... Oh, man. Dude, why? Dude. Yeah. They they really just had to kill one of my favorite characters, didn't they? The w one one of the only deaths on screen in My Hero, and they just said, you know what? It's twice. Come on, man. Like, really? <sighs> Dude, you know it's crazy. It's. We, we there has not been a lot of deaths in my hero like at all right in the span of what like two minutes twice got one of the heroes and he's probably dead um but now twice is dead too now and yeah. it's just so like is this how this whole season's gonna be like a lot of death is that is that is that what's gonna go on here like hey i i i don't know how to feel about that because my hero has been that kind of show like you said there's been no deaths pretty much okay there's been a couple but maybe like not a lot and right. for them to suddenly just like change it i know this season's supposed to be a lot darker we got a whole war arc here <laughs> and we got two deaths in the span of a minute that's how many deaths total were in the show before this um dude oh you know what i i would like for them to go darker embrace the change you know show more deaths but they really just had to do it to one of my favorite characters man dude it couldn't it, have been anybody else dude, literally anybody else if, if i'm telling if, if um if dobby didn't show up i feel like he wouldn't have to like he would have he would have saved twice I don't know because he, he hit like he he said he only hit like his muscles. He didn't actually hit any vital organs, so he would survive. You know, so the, yeah. he was he was gonna take him away, right? But Dobby made that very difficult, so he just had to kill him. Mm -hmm. So like, and speaking of Dobby, how what relation does he have to Hawks? How does he know Hawks? Because he knows his real name, and we know that Hawks was in uh some sort of hero program to where they they raised him to be a hero like that so nobody really knew his real name but somehow dobby does so what's up with that 
all I all I could say is is I've noticed this a little bit. Um, so with Dobby, I don't know. He just I could be dead wrong here, but and this might have nothing to do with why he knows Hawks' name, but he looks like and I know like it's a little off, but he kind of looks related to Todoroki. I don't. Uh, you think so? I, I, I maybe a little bit, because remember, did uh, you remember? Remember they were talking about their son. What happened to their kid? Oh, uh, what was uh, Toya? I think it was Toya. Yeah, Todoroki. Yeah, but uh, they said he died though. I mean, yeah, we but... never. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, we never got an explanation for that. You just they just kind of brushed it off as he died, and they didn't explain any further. Right. So I don't know. I mean, I mean, he's got the stitches on his face. I mean, kind of remove the stitches and like, you know, use your imagination here, of course. Remove the stitches and you know, put back normal skin where it's supposed to go. And I guess I, I guess I can kind of see it. And remember, white hair too. Right. He just dyes his hair. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I I guess I can kind of see it. I don't know though. But maybe, but I, I don't know. That's just a thought that I had that yeah, I've been thinking of for our, a little bit. One of our crazy theories here, but <laughs> I mean, I, I can kind of see it. I, you know, it may or may not be true. We'd have to get more evidence first about yeah. Toya and about Dobby. We haven't really. Yeah. I mean, now that I think about it, we haven't really gotten anything about Dobby's past, right? Right. No. So that's why. And here's the thing, like, I like that, that just, I just, I don't know. He just, I, that's what I like. I kind of did. I like imagined into him because yeah. I saw he, he does have a fire quirk. That's what I'm saying too. And I know most people can't have fire quirks, but I don't know. Just the way I know it's blue flames, but the way the flame looked, it just looks like something yeah. that totally the, wrote... flame, the flames are blue because uh, maybe you know, the mixture between fire and ice. Right. Or I, that doesn't make sense because blue flames are supposed to be hotter. But well, I mean, uh, some certain things on cold can make it. I f isn't that like a thing? Like it can make it hotter. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm I, not good at science. I mean, but... Me either. You scientists, you guys can figure that out. We might be just complete idiots and that's fine too. You guys can call us yeah, idiots yeah. in the comments, but, um, yeah, I like I said, I just I don't know. I just feel like that might be a reason, and mm, I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, it's really interesting. But even but, then, it's like even like the Todoroki family. Or wait a minute, I mean uh, Endeavor probably knows his name, right? I I believe I believe the dead son. They said his name was Toya. I think I could be. I I'm pretty sure that was it. But. Uh, oh, now that I think about it, act, dude, what the, just all these things are just coming to my head, right, as we talk about this. When Dobby was first introduced to the show, um, you know, he walked in the bar, the villain bar or whatever, and he met up with, like, that kind of manager guy with the glasses and the, the white hair or whatever, the gray hair. Mm -hmm. He asked his name, and he said, you can call me Dobby. He didn't say his name was Dobby. Oh, oh I actually don't even remember that. Oh, okay. I kind of, I, I vaguely remember him saying, you can call me Dobby. It's not like implying that his real name was not Dobby. Hmm. Interesting. Again, I, I could, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's just like off the top of my head. So if I'm misremembering things, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Right. And yeah, so I don't know. Like I said, this is just a theory really. I, I just say that because I don't know. He kind of does remind me of their, their like the way their family looks a little bit. I know it's kind of hard to see with the stitches, but you take it off. Like I don't know. I see it a little bit, so that's why I was yeah. like kind of like saying that. But even then, knowing his like personal name like that, that's very confidential information. Yeah, yeah. It's just confusing how he would know that. Right. Why he would know that. Right. So. Yeah, that, that is a little weird, but yeah, so now we got a lot of chaos, though, besides, you know, the whole name with um, with Hawks. We have a lot of chaos going on. We have, um, actually, really funny, 
uh, Tokiyami, right, in his uh, Dark Shadow, bodied, bodied that dude. Yeah. Like, like I get it, robotic, but he made his robotic leg snap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we got to see a, a familiar face we haven't seen in a little bit. Um, uh, crap, what, what's his name? Um, Talking about Big Man in the back? Yeah, Big Man. Statue. In, yeah, Big Man in the back, yeah. So we got to see him again, right? And so uh, Dark Shadow was concerned about him. And obviously yeah. he can't be controlled unless... Unless... Um, uh, why, Shigaraki. Yeah, Shigaraki. Tube. Right, he comes out the tube. And um, and is able to control him, so yeah, they shouldn't really have to worry about him. They more mm -hmm. should worry about yeah, um, Toga and and, uh, and um and the gang now, considering now twice is dead, because now they're about to feel like they're about to pop off and yeah, get man. revenge for twice. Because you know, even as a villain, Dobby, I found interesting, but. But or even Shigaraki as well. But Twice was like the only villain character I actually really liked. Like mm -hmm. that, like I found it very enjoyable to watch this character. Right. Yeah. Like the other one, the other villains are they're good villains. They're good characters. Right. But Twice, yeah, he's different. He's he. Uh, I guess we should change that to was. Uh, <laughs> right. Twice was different. Um. But yeah, I mean, he's just very enjoyable to watch. He's the kind of comedic relief, I guess. But he also has a very serious nature about him, a serious past. Right. And dude, oh man, why did they have to do me like that? Twice is my favorite. Yeah, I don't know if he's my favorite character actually, but he's top three at least. But oh, yeah, man. yeah, this was a really good episode. Though. A lot of emotion. I, as you can tell in this reaction, we weren't really talking a lot because just the emotional impact that it was having, especially with that whole twice thing and then a Hawks betraying twice and twice, like feeling so betrayed. Yeah. It's like, oh, this always happens to me. Why does it always happen to me? Like, why am I the only, always the one that's like getting us in these kind of situations? Like, and he's just blaming himself. Right. And twice is not a bad guy. Dude. He's just... He just fell in with the wrong crowd. He had so many bad things happen to him. It's right. just, you know, like he said, like, um, or like Hawks said to him, I guess, he's very unlucky. Like, he's just very unlucky with the things that happened to him in his life. And that kind of, you know, led him to where he's at now, to where Hawks has to, had to kill him. Man, uh, this episode is good, dude. I, I think this is definitely the best of season six so far. Facts. And I honestly think this was one of the best episodes, maybe top top 15 of the series. I actually completely agree with that. Yeah, this, this episode is really great. And I'm just, again, sad for twice that, you know, Hawks had to kill him, but he had no choice because... He yeah. was so convinced that, oh, no one, that these things are being justified, like these actions, but also, too, that those are his best friends, right? Yeah. Which some of them don't even care. And, dude, what, what is with the title of the episode? I heard One's Justice, and I immediately thought, oh, it's like the video game. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of cool fights. I'm going to enjoy this one. And then, pain. <laughs> It hit me with the pain, dude. Oh, dude, that was an emotional and great episode yeah. of My Hero. Man, that was awesome. I really like. I really just liked everything about it. Um, yeah. But I also what I really liked as well, just some of the smaller characters kind of shining too. Like some of the other heroes, we don't really get to see as much. So I uh, I really liked that as well. Um, but right. yeah, man, I just I really don't know what to say, man. That, like, whole last half of the episode really was, like, really got to me. Yeah, me too. It was phenomenal. And as always, guys, thanks for all the support so far on My Hero Academia Season 6. And if you guys want to see more reactions to this season of My Hero Academia, then make sure you guys like and subscribe. And make sure you guys click on the noties so you guys know when we release new videos. And uh, sorry if I sound drained. This, this was very, very emotional and... 
an oh, emotionally taxing episode did <laughs> right so I, i'm just a little out of it now but uh, again thanks for all the support really do appreciate every single one of you guys we will see you guys in the next video